Hey, what's going on everybody? Brando Free to Play, and today's video, I am on a new game uh, for me. This game is called Infinity Kingdom. Now, this game is, uh, I, so far, I've, tried, I've been trying it out for, you know, a couple hours already, uh, just looking at stuff here and there, and I'm really liking what I see so far. Now, before I go ahead and get any further into this video, I would like to say that this video is sponsored by Yuzu Games. Um, please just, you know, give... I'm just letting you guys know right now, before I get any further into the game, try it out yourself. There's a download link down in the description below. Just, just give it a shot. Follow along with what I'm doing. It, you're not going to regret it. I've been enjoying the game so far, okay? So, um, let me just give you a brief rundown of what this game is actually all about and uh, what you can actually do, right? So, you know, the end goal of this game is to build up your account, your castle, your city, uh, build up an alliance so that you are at a position to be able to uh, go to war and take over quite a few of these different uh, areas of the map, right? So pretty much um, as it's shown here, um, you, depending on which faction you start off in, you start off um, in a different area of the map, all right? So you can zoom in and out, you know, at will, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. So my castle is right here, and you can go pretty much to all of these different um, little cities and try to take them over and ultimately you want to take over the main city let me see where is it the world heart the world heart is the main city and that is kind of what you want to end up um, being the ruler over okay so that is kind of a very high level overview of what the end goal is but there is a ton of stuff to do um, before we get to that stage of the game, all right? So some of the things that are really, really cool about this game is the use of what they call immortals, right? So here you see that there is a hall of immortals, right? So this is where you can summon different immortals. And these are essentially heroes of the past. Or, you know, legendary figures um, from, you know, uh, different eras of time, okay? So let's go ahead and let's just do a, a normal uh, pull. Let's see if I get lucky while I'm recording. <laughs> um, but again, you, can, you guys always download the, the game. It's down in the description. And see if you get lucky, right? So unfortunately, I didn't get lucky that time around, but that is fine. Um, I need to save up a couple more of these uh, philosopher stones to go ahead and summon more later down the line but I do already have some immortals summoned um, like like here's one of them like Helen of Troy if you guys know any like uh, Greek mythology if I'm not mistaken Helen of Troy is a pretty significant figure right and she is an immortal that we can use we also have Immortals like Lancelot. Um, we, we even have Robin Hood, which is actually pretty cool, right? Now, we also have some of the other uh, Immortals that uh, I have yet to summon, like Richard I, Hannibal Barca, um, let's see, Charles the Great, let's see, Julius Caesar. And, and like, like, you know what I mean? That These are all like legendary figures from the past. And it's actually pretty cool. Leonidas, the Spartan king, the king of Sparta. I mean, you got you guys remember the name, right? Come on. That it'd be pretty cool to actually be able to unlock him. And eventually I probably will. So these immortals are used in battle. Okay. So in battle, you have uh, an option of four different troop types. You have uh spearmen, you have cavalry. You have shieldmen and you have bowmen, okay? Now, bowmen and uh, 
I believe spearmen, they're kind of uh, back line. Cavalry and shieldmen, they're kind of the front line fighters. Uh, spearmen might also be front line. Uh, unfortunately, I have not yet unlocked a uh, spearman uh, immortal. Uh, they've all been either ranged or cavalry so far. So once I get some more immortals under my belt, uh, we'll go ahead and test out different formations. So be on the lookout for that video. Um, so pretty much you have different troops that you can use. And those troops are tied to the immortals that they are going to be following into battle. Okay. Now the last thing that uh, that is in the troop formations is you can use a dragon. Now here I do have a uh, a little baby dragon, uh, Glinder, Glinder. Oh, really, really, really weird name, but he's a cute little dragon. I mean, like you can you can move him around. I don't know if you tap him, does he do anything? No, he doesn't really do much. But you can move him around. Pretty cool, right? So let's see. Can I speed it up? One click speed up. Yes. Upgrade. And yeah, why not? Let's upgrade him. So I went ahead and I upgraded him to level two, which is perfectly fine. Domesticated. Cool. And also we have a variety of different dragons that we're also going to be able to unlock. So we're going to get an earth dragon, which we're going to be able to unlock after we complete uh, mission chapter seven, as well as a lightning dragon after story mission chapter 10, a wind dragon followed by a fire dragon, followed by a holy dragon, and a shadow dragon, okay? So all of these dragons are eventually going to be able to be used in your troop formations or just your battles in general, okay? So that is actually really cool. And down here on the bottom right, you're going to see troops, and in here is where you can place, mix and match, your different uh, immortals and troops troop types to go into battle right and one of the other things that is actually pretty good to know is you have a you can get some sort of a buff depending on the element of troops uh immortals and dragon you are using okay so for this instance all five of my deployed um you know, uh, troops and uh, immortal and dragons, they're all water-based, okay? So pretty much it means that if you have three or more units of the same element, we get more defense, 20% more physical and magic defense. If we have four of the same element, we get 20% more attack, both uh, physical and magic attack. And if we have all five units of the same element, we get 10% more troop HP. I mean, that's pretty cool. And you can mix and match a little bit, right? Um, I would recommend probably having at least three of each element type. That way you get that defensive bonus. And four, preferably, right? Well, really five, preferably, to be honest. But we'll see further on down the line how easy that is going to be to achieve okay so you know just looking really really quickly the castle itself this thing looks beautiful it looks really really nice i really like how uh they made the game look it's really really smooth you can go you know zoom in zoom out you can do pretty much everything you want to do and it even tells you if you want to upgrade it what you need to do next to be able to upgrade that certain building okay so let's go ahead let's go ahead and upgrade this hospital and there's one thing that i really really like about this game is you see that little hand that's just kind of like the handshake waving on top of the building that i'm trying to you know to construct or level up that is going to request helps from my alliance now the alliance is something that is really good um obviously if you have played uh other games of uh this genre you'll know that they're either referred to as an alliance a guild a clan in this game it's an alliance and 
I really, really like it because you get to reach out and connect with peoples from all different uh, countries, races, ethnicities, genders. It, you know, it's a wide variety of people. And that is just something that is really, really cool to, to just know that you can um, be so connected with so many different people. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm going to be kind of working on. So first things first, I, myself, I like to uh, get all of my buildings to the castle level. So that's one thing that I'm going to be working on. And probably the next video that you guys are going to see on this game is going to be for the Well of Time. Now, from what I understand, the Well of Time is a PvE aspect of the game where you go through different stages and um, you get to do some stuff. Some pretty cool stuff. So that's going to be the next video. Um, I'm going to be, you know, trying out the Well of Time for the first time. And <laughs> that sounded funny. But yeah, again, I really want to thank Yuzu Games for, uh, you know, giving me this opportunity to go ahead and talk about this game. And uh, please do not forget to go ahead and click on that download link in the description. Give it a try yourself and let me know what you think. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time. See ya.